JFT just fair and direct. Good morning everyone and welcome to JFD's daily market review for January the 7th. I am Haralabos Pissuros, head of research here at JFD, and I will talk about yesterday's main market movers, what's my opinion moving ahead, what are today's important events and how they could affect the markets. But before we start, let's read our disclaimer. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. I will leave you a few seconds uh, to read the rest and then we will jump into our analysis. Okay, the US dollar trade, traded slightly higher against most of the other major currencies on Thursday during the Asian morning Friday. It gained against CHF, AUD and slightly against JPY and the Euro, while it was found virtually unchanged against um, the New Zealand dollar. The greenback, was, uh, the greenback underperformed notably against the Canadian dollar and slightly against uh, the British pound. The strengthening of the US dollar suggests that uh, market participants continue to, um, to trade based on uh, the outcome of uh, the, the FOMC meeting minutes. Remember that according to the minutes, officials said that um, the very tight labor market may warrant sooner rate increases, as well as that they could also reduce their overall asset uh, holdings to, to tame um, elevated inflation, another move that could be considered uh, as quantitative uh, tightening. Indeed, uh, the fact uh, that this may have been the case is also supported by, equity, by the equity market, where major European and US indices closed in negative waters. Appetite improved uh, during the Asian session today. However, we are reluctant to say that uh, the correction uh, is over, and this is because today we get the US employment report for uh, December. Non-farm payrolls are expected to have, um, to have accelerated to, to 400,000 uh, K, to 400,000 from 210,000 in November, with the risks perhaps tilted to the upside. Although we usually don't rely on the ADP report, Wednesday's print came in at 807K, adding to the chances that an upside, uh, uh, excuse me, adding to the chances of an upside surprise in the NFPs. The unemployment rate is forecast to have ticked down to 4.1% from 4.2%, while average hourly earnings are forecast to have slowed on a year-over-year -year basis to 4.2% from 4.2%. 8%. Although this is an indication of a potential, slow, of a potential slowdown in inflation uh, in the months to come, it would still be well above the Fed's objective of uh, 2%. Thus, an upbeat report uh, overall could add credence to the Fed's view over a very tight labor market and may encourage market participants to bring further forth their expectations with regards to the Fed's tightening plans. According to the Fed Fund Futures, investors are currently anticipating the first post-pandemic quarter point hike to, de to be delivered in May. Now, at the same time with the US employment report, we get jobs data for December from Canada as well. The unemployment rate is forecast to have held steady at 6%, but the employment change is expected to show that the economy added significantly less jobs than in November. At its latest meeting, the Bank of Canada kept interest rates untouched at 0.25%, and in the statement accompanying the decision, the language was more cautious than previously, with officials expressing concerns over the economic impact of the new coronavirus variant. That said, the Omicron strain proved to be milder than initially estimated, while yesterday the nation's uh, trade uh, data revealed that uh, Canada recorded its biggest trade surplus since 2008, helped by record exports. Now, participants are currently pricing in five quarter point rate increases by the Bank of Canada, which combined with the latest recovery in oil prices due to escalating unrest in, uh, in OPEC plus member Kazakhstan and supply outages in Libya, could keep, um, 
could keep the Canadian dollar supported. Even if a potential slowdown in, uh, in uh, jobs growth results in a pullback uh, in the Luni, we expect it to be short-lived. So that's it uh, from me. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For those who are interested in learning about the main events of the week much earlier, you can subscribe to the weekly Market Outlook webinar, which I'm holding every Monday at 8 o'clock AM GMT. You can find the link in the description below. So goodbye, have a great day, a greater weekend, and I'm looking forward to seeing you here again next week. JFT, just fair and direct.